Well, good morning, everybody, and thanks for stopping by to check out episode 43 of Sailing Alley Cat. Well, today's the big day. There's no more postponing it and no more thinking about it. The boat's getting pulled out of the water. Are we nervous? You bet your butt we're nervous. That's our home we're talking about here. <sighs> so I thought I'd stop and videotape these sweet dolphins for a little while in the hopes that it will calm my nerves about what's coming up. Oh boy. Thanks for stopping by. If you haven't subscribed, I hope you'll consider doing so. For now, enjoy the video, folks. Thank you, Terry. I want to say thanks to Terry. She's been so very helpful in getting us set up to get here. Nice office. This place has been fantastic. So sweet. Can't say enough nice things. Everything's clean and beautiful and so far going very well. All right, ladies. I am Thank you. Morning, Matt. How long are you going to have our boat, Matt? Oh, depends on how much stuff's back ordered when I go to fix it. That'll... <laughs> Bill, Bill's answer longer than you think. Yeah. <laughs> Six years? <laughs> I didn't want to hear that. <laughs> so I told y'all I had an elaborate cardboard box system that I was setting up in the trunk of our Honda and that this would be how we would handle our storage and living situations as we spend the next, I don't know, months, six years, whatever, living out of the trunk of our car. So, here it is. I've got shoes, I've got pants, I have put Dave's stuff conveniently up front so that he can get to it easily and I'll have to listen to minimum crying, whining, and complaining. But my winter stuff and my accessories, and in the back seat of the car that has winter gear and shoes. All organized, all ready to go. There's my office space over there with my computer. Got it all, oh, there's my bathroom stuff right there. I'm ready, folks. It's gonna be a fine day today, I can see.
You say let's jump on the bus and take a ride downtown. Well, I don't know about that. But can you help me first to get these boxes down? Well, I don't know about that. We have the whole day now just to ourselves so we can clean the house or clear out some shelves. You said whichever you feel like doing first, I said, well, I don't know about that. Cause it's my lazy day, just wanna lazy away. Ain't gonna do a thing for the rest of the day. You can try to seduce me, make me wanna play. I don't know about that. Mm-hmm. I don't know about that. Let's call some friends over for a game of poker or so. I don't know about that Or should I turn on the TV or the radio Well, I don't know about that but There's a whole list full of all the things we can do But I want to do none, wish that you did too So you can just keep trying and I'll just keep saying I don't know about that Cause it's my lazy day, just want to As I was saying earlier, they're really nice here at Tiger Point. They even gave us a spot to put our new quote-unquote house over here underneath the trees. We have a neighbor, a Jeep Cherokee, but she says she's putting in a Walmart pool here real soon, so I think it'll be just fine. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are officially living right in our on. car. So, uh, as you so can see, we're having company over. Scratch. Yep. and starting over. I've invited and him in so for a cocktail, the, but the for some the, odd reason, he doesn't want to come in. Oh, wow. is what's on there now. <laughs> and, um, I don't know so, why. Uh, you know, the There's plenty of room. Application lasts, <laughs> lasts 15, 17 years. So. Take your shoes off before you come inside, please. Thank you. Okay. I'm chilling here in the car. <laughs> Dave decided to go get some fresh air. <laughs> Went for a little walk. I thought I'd just hang out in my knee pad. Ooh, I got snacks. Mm. 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 Ooh, trail mix. Y'all some snacks. Snack. Snack time. Snack time at the house. <laughs> What's wrong, Captain Dave? Are you tired? <laughs> I didn't know you had the camera pointed at me. <laughs> Are you tired? <laughs> Hot and tired. What's been going on today? It has been a busy day. Got hauled out today, which was exciting. Everything went well. The bottom looked good. We are both very nasty. We are both very hot. We know we look like poo-poo. Forgive us. Go ahead. Keep talking. This is where whole potatoes go. <laughs> this is where vegetable beans go. <laughs> All right. So we have a lot of sloppy joes. <laughs> All right. So we got hauled out today. Been busy. It's hot. Not the, middle, not the middle of summer hot. Snacks. Snacks. <laughs> so now we're trying to play Tetris with the boat and making it easy access for all the areas that they need to get into to do the chain plates, to do the... Oh. Oh, shit, I got that one, too. Just thought of more stuff. So what that means is we had to move everything from one end of the boat so that we can move everything from the other end of the boat to the middle of the boat, so that we can move everything from the front of the boat to the back of the boat, so that we can move everything that was in the middle of the boat to the front of the boat. Did I get that right? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's about what we've been doing today. So I'll give you a little tour of what our boat looks like now. It's gonna get worse. Oh, it's gonna get a lot worse, but look at that. That used to be my bed. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a mess. We had to empty everything out of there. What do we got going on in the bathroom? Why is the bathroom emptied out? Chain plate. Mm. Chain plate. plate. Yep, chain access to the chain plate. There we go. Um, oh, look at this. Let me show you this butyl tape Ouch. deal. Oh, I'm sorry. So here's the butyl tape deal. Tell them, what, tell them about that, so Dave. This is, it looks like the uh, commissioning dealership that put the mast up used butyl tape instead of uh, 4200 or Cicaflex or some other compound. So in the heat, heat of the South Georgia heat, or in the South Georgia heat, it just kind of melts down and 
you know, it's like gum. Yeah, it is like gum. You can just pull it right off, pull a chunk yeah. of it right off. Look at that. So that was a mistake and should not have been done that way. So one of them is leaking, the other five are not. Is that the one that's leaking? No. Okay. The one that's leaking is over there. Mm, over here. So that's why we've got this side of the boat tore apart so that they yeah. can get into all that. So they're gonna do it right. Yeah. We we're not dropping the mast for that. All right, so we'll so see how it that, goes. That's that. But the good news is that they weren't sure if it was gonna be a really difficult project, but it seems like it's gonna be easier than they thought, so that's good, Yep. right? Yep, and the bottom looked good. The prop was terrible. The new line cutter was nothing but barnacles and oysters, so they got it cleaned off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just going to eat some snacks. But uh, trying to decide which paint we want to go with now. Do we want to go with the expensive pennant brand? I thought you decided what we were going to go with. Yeah, we did. We, we flipped a candy we bar. First time what we did. No, no, we flipped this. Tape measure. We didn't have a coin because I didn't took, it off the, took those off the boat. But we had a heads and a tails, and we flipped it five times. And the, the outcome of that was... The expensive paint wins. The expensive paint that the marina here is recommending. And we decided that that was what we were going to go with. Based on a flip. Based on a flip. And the way I like to see that is a lot of times when I'm doing the three out of five flip, I will find myself wanting it to land a certain way. And I think he was doing that too. And when it was over, I asked him how he felt about it. And he said he felt like the decision had been made. So I personally feel that deep inside that that was truly the decision he really wanted to make. So that'll be ten dollars for that therapy session. Yep. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. So we got a few more things to do here. What else we got to do? I got to empty a bilge up front so we can get at the uh, transducer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We got to quit eating chocolate for God's sake. Mm -hmm. I got to. You got to take that thing off back there. Yep. So they can have access to the uh, steering armature. Mm -hmm. back there because we've got to drop the rudder so I'm getting to try to make access to it as easy as possible for them and as quick for them because it's 120 some bucks an hour Yeehaw. and just so we can leave the boat and not worry about anything and they did give us an estimate on possibly how long we would be here one yeah. month yeah a month Okay, we don't, not going to hold our breath on that. that. Not holding anybody to that. But it was good to hear that it wasn't one year. I was very happy about that. So you know what? If they say a month, double it, two months. If we had out of here that's in two we, months. That's what I planned. I, I, I'd feel that would give us time to uh, get ready to go to the Bahamas this winter. Yep. So I'd be real happy with that. That'll work. Yep. So um, we'll see. And the guys that have been on board to look at the jobs to get an idea what kind of a job it is, they're all saying that'll be easy, that'll be for no problem, not a problem, so. Those are pretty words, I hope they're, I hope they're true it can, words. It can change, it can yeah. change. But. So quickly. Mm, the one part that we were having, uh, it should getting in the part for the generator? Yeah, the raw water pump, it came in oh, the it day was we on, pulled in. The day, oh, it's been on back order, they didn't even know if they were ever gonna make any again. We were looking at having to possibly rebuild the pump that we had. Which I'm gonna do, so I have a spare. But glory, hallelujah, blessed be to Jesus, Mother Mary. The day we pulled in here and tied up, wouldn't you know that that part showed right up in the mailbox? <laughs> Tell me that ain't a miracle. Mm-hmm, it is. So they're doing that? She said next week, but that was mm -hmm. yesterday. All right. Let's well, say we finish this up and go get to our hotel. We don't even know where we are staying tonight. We got no idea. Well, if we get to the Hampton, they have an outdoor pool. Uh, yeah, I feel like swimming tonight after all this work, but we'll see. I don't refreshing. know. Refreshing. Yeah. All right, let's finish up. Let's get on with it. Lord, ow, it hurts. Oh, Lord, y'all, I've hurt myself. You see that raspberry? Oh, that is going to be really ugly tomorrow. I hit myself down there, too, but that's the worst one. Ouch. I don't know if somebody's called a medic or not, but somebody might need to call 911. I was trying to get my jack fire stash off the boat, and I fell off the ladder. I wasn't going to let go of the jack fire, of course. Yeah, I know y'all were all cheering for me. I took one for the team. The jack was okay, but my leg suffered. Oh, it hurts. Somebody needs to call 911. Maybe I just need to drink some of this jack. Yeah, that's what I need to do. Yeah, 
This is what you have to do to get on and off the boat right now. And by the way, these parts of the ladder right here are fiberglass of some sort, and every single spot on my body that has come in contact with it <laughs> has now little tiny shivers and slivers, I'm sorry. Yeah, so I'm trying to get down without touching anything. And I fell last time. You saw that raspberry on my leg. Just be careful. made sure our toilet paper was safe. <laughs> you never know when toilet paper is going to go in short supply. You better take care of that stuff. Yeah, so they're going to be getting back there to work on the, uh, to do something with the shaft. Something in there, something, something. I don't know. I'm not a mechanical girl. It goes in one ear and out the other. Talk to me about better homes and gardens and pillow matching and what skirt is the hot color this year and you might get my attention but when it comes to mechanics and whatnot i just just not my area but anyway that's all the information that i know so i'm going to videotape some stuff outside and see what they're doing what we got going on dave we're just going over my uh, uh, prop shaft tube uh -huh. i guess yeah the set screw this is a set screw it's supposed to be pointing into the prop uh -huh. it's sideways holy cow can i move the fiberglass i don't know if you can see that there so that's supposed to be a the screw going in and it's laying sideways in the fiberglass. Well, that ain't good, is it? This is from when we uh, saved those two guys. The guys of our Miami Rescue? Yeah, I wish I knew their address so I'd send them a bill. Uh, yeah, I'm sure we and do. The other, there's another set screw on the other side. Oh, there's it's, another one? It's not even there. Holy cow. No, it is completely gone. Yeah. All right. So they got to rebuild. So what does that mean in regards? Is it is this worst case scenario? No, not worst. They got to rebuild this, re refiberglass it. Okay. And get new holes for the set screws before they take the prop out. Okay. All right. All right. It looks like it's cracked too. Yeah, yeah that's down inside. Oh my goodness. I'm not saving anybody anymore. Just kidding. <laughs> Tell you what, sure. that was an expensive. Uh, that was an expensive rescue on our part. It was. Not that we regret it. We're very happy that everybody was okay. Please don't take it any other way than no. that. No. <laughs> it said once a year you got to replace the raw water pump. Uh oh. Mine ain't good. No. I'm changing the raw water pump out. And you said it's something about what were you saying about it's replacing just, it, and it doesn't it work. It's usually about once a year because they yeah. don't last. You know. As, as long as other ones wow. but they always start a slow drip really so you just about that year you want to check and see if it's dripping okay you know i would always keep a spare much awesome. as you use it you know and just change it out so what you'll need there's an eight millimeter locking bolt once you crack that loose then you want to loosen the phillips just a little bit okay. and then it kind of you want to rotate it out so keep rotating and pulling it so what i did is already messed up mm -hmm. Put it in there and just keep rotating and rotating 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 okay. it finally gets loose yep. comes out but then you want to line up your your gear that's, yeah. yeah that's what i was telling you so what i do is just kind of eyeball and you're not going to hurt anything you're doing like this you're just moving yeah so kind of get it close see how it needs to go a little more there you go that's pretty close there and then once you go in i'll go in and then kind of move it and then it'll go in the rest of the way because okay. if not it, it, if it won't go in i mean it's not lined up yeah oh boy the mail truck is finally here i've been waiting all day long i've got an amazon prime delivery yep got it got my amazon prime package 